So the first step is to drag your own picture onto the Photoshop. Now go to Quick Selection tool and select your own silhouette. As it is going to be a 3D picture, we only need your silhouette. That's why we are going to detach your silhouette from the background. After selecting your silhouette, we are going to use our old background removal technique. First step is to mask your own picture. Then go to adjustments and click on solid color. Choose the darkest color from the palette and click OK. Drag the colorful layer to down and then right click on the layer 0. Choose the option select and mask. Now hover your refine edge brush all over your rough edges so that it becomes smooth. If you want to understand the full technique of background removal in detail, please visit my previous videos. drag the iPhone picture which you are going to use later in this process as a new page. Now drag your own silhouette picture which you just refined over the iPhone and adjust it wherever you want. As you can see I am cleaning the extras with the help of an eraser. I am going to add a grass field so that it covers the whole phone screen area. For that I am going to go to file and then click on place embedded and, and place this pretty grass field picture by browsing. By the way you can find this picture in Google. Adjust the picture by clicking on Ctrl plus T. Then move the grassland picture back of your own picture and erase the unnecessary part. Of course, it doesn't look blend out at all. So what we need to do is blend the colors of our grassland picture with our own silhouette picture. For that, go to image, then click on adjustments and go to hue and saturation. Adjust the slider accordingly and press OK. Now place some more grass pictures on every corner of the phone so that it looks 3D. Also don't forget to blend out the colors by using the hue and saturation option.
shadows to particular grass layer, right click on the layer and click on blending options. Go to drop shadow and adjust the shadows there. Lastly, I am going to add a tree on the ground and some fireflies to add finishing and depth to our 3D picture and voila, we are done!